Fans have been writing fan fiction since K-pop's first generation, but how do stars feel about it? Earlier this year, Korean stars like Bui and Sun Simba began calling out K-pop fans who write fan fiction, but how do most idols and agencies really feel about it? In a new interview, two K-pop industry professionals revealed the truth. Through the course of his career, Dragon J, author of How to Become a K-pop Star, went from K-pop manager to girl group training manager to head of business development at a Korean entertainment industry. YouTuber and Ji Woon is also a former idol trainer and currently directs K-pop choreography. After working with idols for so long, these two K-pop professionals have spent a lot of time talking to stars and agencies about their thoughts. In a new comment Defenders video with AO on YouTube, they discuss their thoughts on fanfiction. Do agencies know about RPS? I heard agencies are suing RPS, aren't they just saying it? RPS is a commonly used term in Korea which is short for real person slash. The term refers to explicit, sexual, and generally inappropriate fanfiction stories written about idols and other real people. Back in January, Bui became embroiled in discussion with his fanbase after spreading the hashtag RPS is sexual assault. Sun Simba joined him, sharing a petition to punish fans who write RPS as criminals. You can't ignore the situation that has been created. There are people who are creating and selling their stories as well as drawings of real people. They are advocating for perversion, but there are people who are busy trying to conceal it. On whether agencies know about fan fictions like these, In Ji Woong says he's informed several companies about the issue. Of course, whether agencies themselves remain oblivious or not, many idols know all about the issue. In Ji Woon went on to reveal that, when he's worked with idols, many stars have admitted that they suffer as a result of RPS. I actually told agencies about it a lot. When we're working together at the scene, idols tell me how hard it is for them, because of RPS, how they suffer from it. On top of that, the choreographer and former idol trainer says that some agencies actually see RPS as a positive thing, with companies claiming a lot of people became a fan through RPS. However, in In Ji Woon's view, if they became a fan because of RPS, they're not innocent fans in the first place. As for the subject of whether agencies are really going to sue fan fiction writers, Dragon J says that his company does check out RPS to see if they can apply any legal claims to it. If an artist in our company gets hurt and suffers, he explained, we take legal actions against it right away.